It's been a problem for Pine Bluff for the last few days after the winter weather storm. It's water issues, and I spoke with individuals and officials to talk about the low water pressure impacting across the city. I work part time at the laundromat around the corner and we're having to turn people away. Not enough water pressure to activate all the machines or nothing. Along with the uh, 18 inches plus snow, ice, living with a family of five, um, that was a little bit difficult. Liberty Utilities released a statement through the sheriff's office stating they haven't yet found the major water leaks but that there are millions of gallons of water being lost. But the PSI is higher today than it was yesterday, than it was last night. I was here at 8.30 at Liberty, and again with them at 9 o'clock, no, 10 o'clock this morning, so it was higher at 10. So we hope that if we can continue to find small leaks, but most importantly, we have to find some large leaks. Normally we have 60 PSI coming in here. Now we're dealing with a third of that. Anderson Medical Regional Center says local fire departments had to bring water to them to keep it up and running. The hospital has managed to keep the emergency room open, but they are not admitting routine inpatients at this time. Liberty is saying that there are some major leaks throughout Pine Bluff. You know, it's a really beautiful day out here today. If you could get out, walk around your house, walk around your neighborhood, Please look to see if you see water where it shouldn't be. There's no timeline on when the leaks will be found and the problem fixed. But city officials say they're working daily for a solution. Uh, to be patient, take short showers instead of a bath if you can, because a bath takes 20 to 30 gallons of water, or especially if there's a vacant house near them. Check around the vacant houses and look out on the edges of the streets for them to see if they can detect a leak. Jay Jackson, THV 11 News.